This is the grade 5 math practice test for T and Ready, question number 20. We're going to calculate our allowed section, so that's a bonus. John's building a stage for a school play. The stage is 15 and a half feet long and 20 feet wide. So I'm going to do this really weird thing where I'm going to just draw out a picture. It's a terrible rectangle. I get it. It shouldn't look like this. Why am I trying to make it into some trapezoid? Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to look good, and I'm living proof of this. So, there's the stage. Select all the options that represent the area of the stage in square feet. Now remember, area is a two-dimensional measure in which we figure out how many one-by-one one blocks fit into this section. So what we do, so if I have a smaller one, let's say I have a three-by-two. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six one-by-one one blocks in there. So I could say I have three times two, and that gives me six. So Area is a multiplication process in most cases, um, or pretty much every case. There is some addition if you have irregular shapes, but uh, the general base for it is multiply. So I would say 15 and a half times 20. Now you're like, well, none of that's over there, so what am I supposed to do? Well, what you're supposed to do is think about different ways to uh, view these numbers. Um, you'll notice that some of the answer choices are set up Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, select all options that represent the area of the stage in square feet means it could be all of them. It could just be a few. It probably won't be all of them, but it could be. So don't sleep on any of the answers. Check them all. The first thing I need to do is convert this into an improper fraction. Now remember, when I have 15 and a half, that means I have 15 groups of 2 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2, 2 over 2, and then one more group of this. So I'm going to multiply 15 times 2 over 2. Remember any number that's a whole number can make a fraction by putting it over 1. So this becomes 30 over 2 and then I'm going to add 1 half to it. Same denominator so that's a bonus. 30 plus 1 is 31. 31 halves. So I'm going to leave that there. And then times 20. So do I have any that are 31 and a half times 20? Well yeah of course or 31, not 31 and a half, 31 halves times 20. Yes, I do. Now, we're not breaking it into parts. Multiplying by this 1 over 20 would actually divide it into groups. That's not what we're trying to do here. Um, we're trying to multiply it by this length. This is the same thing as saying 31 over 20 divided by 20, but instead we'd multiply it by one whole group broken into 20 parts. You know what I'm saying. It doesn't really apply here because we're not dividing. This is a divide mechanism. 30 over, 20, 30 over 2 times 20 doesn't work because it's not the right number. If it was 15, then yeah, but it's not. So now we're ready to go ahead and do our calculation. And I'm going to erase just a little bit to give myself some space to think for a second. So I'm ready to do my 31 over 2 times 20. Remember, it's 20 over 1, so I do 31 times 20 gives me 620. Hold on, that 1's not showing up and it's driving me crazy. There you go, so 620. 2 times 1 is 2, of course, and then 620. This fraction is a divide, so divide by 2, and it gives me a final answer of 310. So I can say that it's not this one because we're not trying to break it into parts. We're not dividing here. This doesn't work because 30 over 2 is not the same thing as 15 and a half. 300 doesn't work because if I was multiplying 15 times 20, it would work, but it doesn't work here. So as you can see, I've addressed all the answer choices. So the answers here are C and E. Uh, the big issue is that I made sure that the ones that I did not pick, I specifically looked for to make sure that they were not correct answers because when it says select all options they could potentially be correct answers in this case they were not so I can feel pretty solid about the idea that they were not correct and that these are the correct answers